Question 1. Employees that have group life policies covering them are required to be issued a slash an A estimate of employer's premiums. B certificate of insurance. C master policy. D monthly premium notification on a non-participating plan. The correct answer is B. Certificate of insurance. Question 2. Jerry is using a new time management technique in his insurance sales presentation. In order to cut the amount of time he spends at each appointment he now longer answers questions when they are first asked. Instead he answers them only if he are asked twice. He feels this will allow him to get to his next meeting quicker. Most insurance professionals would consider this. A. An unethical practice. B. A clever and ethical practice. The correct answer is A. An unethical practice. Question 3. Oscar owns a whole life policy that he has been paying into for many years. He would like to continue having life insurance, and can afford to make the premium payments, but needs about 30% of the cash value for a couple of years. What would be the best course of action for Oscar to take? A. Continue making the premium payments to keep the contract in force. And borrow form cash value. B. Since he must surrender the policy to get any money out he can do so, then. Buy another policy with the other 70% of the funds he received from the. Cash value. C. Find another source of funds. He has no access to cash value until the age of 100. D. Find another source of funds. Whole life policies do not build cash value. The correct answer is A. Continue making the premium payments to keep the contract in force and borrow form cash value. Question 4. A policy owner makes the last premium payment on his $250,000 non-par whole life policy today. The owner is 70 years of age. When will the cash value reach $250,000? A. About 13 years from now. B. The cash value is $250,000 today. C. Never, he didn't pay up to age 100. D. When he reaches the age of 100. The correct answer is D. When he reaches the age of 100. Question 5. All of the following are used in determining life insurance rates, except, A. Investment and interest return. B. Insurance company expenses. C. Mortality expense. D. Policy reserves. The correct answer is D. Policy reserves. Question 6. In the life insurance planning process, the blackout period is considered. A. The period of time after a life insurance application is written and the date the coverage takes effect. B. The period of time when there is not enough income available as required by the insured's beneficiaries. C. The period of time when a surviving spouse does not receive any social security benefits. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. The period of time when a surviving spouse does not receive any social security benefits. Question 7. What does the incontestable clause of a life insurance policy do? A. It keeps the cash value from losing value if the premium is not paid. B. It keeps the insurer form cancelling the policy if, after two years, there is a discovery of error, concealment, or misstatement by the policy owner. C. It ensures the insurance company will not liable for the acts of fraud by its agents. D. All the above. The correct answer is B. It keeps the insurer form cancelling the policy if, after two years, there is a discovery of error, concealment, or misstatement by the policy owner. Question 8. All of the following are reasons for an individual to purchase personal life insurance, except, A. To have funds that can supplement Social Security at retirement. B. To cover a buy-slash-sell agreement. C. For the creation of an immediate estate. D. To have cash available for emergencies. The correct answer is B. To cover a buy-slash-sell agreement. Question 9. If the owner of a life insurance policy elects to pay an annual premium, she will, A. Find her premiums the same as compared to all other payment methods. B. Pay more as compared to paying premiums every six months. C. Pay less as compared to paying premium every six months. D. Pay a reduced amount if she pays earlier in the year, rather than at the end of the term of coverage, as is customary. The correct answer is C. Pay less as compared to paying premium every six months. Question 10. A binding receipt issued on the sale of a life insurance policy becomes effective from th date the receipt is given, no matter what the insurability of the applicant. A. True. B. False binding receipts do not apply to life insurance policies. The correct answer is A. True. Question 11. Why would a business use a key person life insurance policy A? To provide the key employee's surviving family members with funds to live on after the death of the employee. B. To help the employee's spouse supplement her social security benefits. C. To better allow the employee qualify for a bank loan. 
D. To protect the company from the financial consequence of the death of a vice president. The correct answer is D. To protect the company from the financial consequence of the death of a vice president. Question 12. One of the provisions commonly found in life insurance is the misstatement of age clause. If the age of the insured is in error but not discovered until much later, the insurance company will a. Make an adjustment toddy face amount to properly reflect the premiums that have been paid. b. Send back all collected premiums to the insured and cancel the policy. c. Send back all collected premiums to the insured, pay interest on that amount and cancel the policy. d. Try to establish if there was intent to defraud. If not, the insurer will most likely nor pursue legal actions. The correct answer is a. Make an adjustment toddy face amount to properly reflect the premiums that have been paid. Question 13. Identify the stay MNT that is true about contributory group life insurance A. The employer will make a cash contribution to the estate of a deceased employee. B. The employer will contribute the full amount for the premium. C. The employee will contribute to the premium payments. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. The employee will contribute to the premium payments. Question 14. There are four basic classes of life insurance. All of the selections listed below are regarded as ordinary insurance, except a. A life paid up at age 55 policy. b. A 10-year endowment contract. c. A group life insurance policy. d. Term life insurance policy. The correct answer is c. A group life insurance policy. Question 15. When premiums are paid into a universal life insurance policy, Insurers must make certain adjustments to the cash value. The company will add the current premium paid, and A. Deduct for expenses and mortality costs. B. Deduct for general expense charges only. C. Deduct for expenses and mortality costs, then add Current interest. D. The current interest. The correct answer is C. Deduct for expenses and mortality costs, then add current interest. Question 16. Select the correct statement about the social security system. A. It is, for the most part, a voluntary program. B. It is only meant to be a supplement to an individual's major income. It only supplies a minimum floor of income. C. The system is completely and fully funded. D. The amount each person gets out is nearly exactly what they put in. The correct answer is B. It is only meant to be a supplement to an individual's major income. It only supplies a minimum floor of income. Question 17. Variable life insurance policies and by variable annuities are primarily governed by which agency? A. FBI. B. SEC, Security Exchange Commission. C. EPO. D. NAIC. The correct answer is B. SEC, Security Exchange Commission. Question 18. Chooseth correct statement about the 10-day free look provision in a life insurance policy. 1. A full refund of premium is required if the policy is returned within 10 days of delivery to the contract is in force rooting the 10-day period and any claims must be paid even though the insured returns the contract. A only 1. B only 2. C 1 and 2. D neither of the above. The correct answer is A. Only 1. Question 19. Which of the following is true regarding the government social insurance program known as Social Security? A. The majority of worker in the U.S. must pay into the program. B. The contributions paid in closely match the benefits received. C. Participants sign a contractual agreement with the insurer. D. Both A and B above are true. The correct answer is A. The majority of worker in the U.S. must pay into the program. Question 20. An additional amount of premium used to pay for an accidental death benefit provision does not increase the cash value of the policy A. True. B. False. The correct answer is A. True. Question 21. Assume two people apply for life insurance with exactly the same monthly premiums. One individual buys a whole policy, and the other, a 10-year renewable term plan. Both are standard risks with no difference in their age or health rating. Select the statement from below which is false. A. The whole life policy will generate a larger cash value. B. Stopping premium payments on the whole life plan may trigger an option of having the cash value pay for premiums. This will have the effect of reducing the overall death benefit. C. The 10-year renewable term contract will have a premium increase every 10 years while the whole life policy premium remains level. D. The whole life policy will pay a higher amount to the beneficiary should. The insured die within the first 10 years. The correct answer is D. 
the whole life policy will pay a higher amount to the beneficiary should the insured die within the first 10 years. Question 22. Choose the payments from an insurance policy which are not subject to federal income taxes. A. Any part of the death benefit paid as the result of choosing the life income settlement option. B. The death benefit paid to a beneficiary in a lump sum. C. Any cash value received upon the surrender of a life insurance policy. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. The death benefit paid to a beneficiary in a lump sum. Question 23. When an insured becomes totally and permanently disabled, her condition triggers a provision that keeps the policy in force even though the insured stops making premium payments. This is A slash an A accelerated living benefit provision. B guaranteed insurability provision. C waiver of premium provision. D none of the above. The correct answer is C. Waiver of premium provision. Question 24. Which of the following is false about dividends paid from life insurance policies? A dividend is, A. Treated as a return of excess premium paid by the owner and is therefore taxable. B. If interest is earned on dividends and paid to the policy owner, it is considered taxable. C. Not guaranteed to be paid to the policy owner. The correct answer is A. Treated as a return of excess premium paid by the owner and is therefore taxable. Question 25. A family life insurance POLIC that provides coverage for children may be converted to permanent insurance for the children, but evidence of insurability is required. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Question 26. The dividends and cash value continue, and all features of the policy remain in force, even though the insurance company, not the owner, is making the premiums. This is a description of A. Rider. A. Cost of living. B. Return of cash value. C. Waiver of premium. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Waiver of premium. Question 27. From the descriptions below, identify which one is a term policy. A. The policy contraends a prevision that provides non-forfeiture options. The owner pays premiums for 25 years after which payments are no longer required yet coverage is still in force. B. The policy states premiums are to be paid every year. At the end of 15 years the cash value represents about 25% of the total face amount. C. Each year the premium increases as the insured grows older. After several years the coverage and premiums end simultaneously. Cash value is not created. D. The premium increases after 5 years then remains the same unit it is paid each but age 65. The correct answer is C. Each year the premium increases as the insured grows older. After several years the coverage and premiums end simultaneously. Cash value is not created. Question 28. Decreasing term insurance is frequently used to pay the unpaid balance of a mortgage upon death of the mortgage holder A. True. B. False. The correct answer is A. True. Question 29. Every licensee must indicate on which of following documents his or her license number? A. Print advertisements. B. Business cards. C. Written price quotations. D. All the above. The correct answer is D. All the above. Question 30. When any change in residence address occurs, every licensee and every applicant for a license must notify the commissioner. A. Within six months after the move has taken place. B. Within six months before the license is to expire. C. 30 days before submitting a continuing education certificate. D. Immediately. The correct answer is D. Immediately. Question 31. An agent makes a misleading comparison of a policy he is selling in order to convince a prospect to lapse an old insurance policy. What is this called? A. Intimidation. B. Rebating. C. Boycotting. D. Twisting. The correct answer is D. Twisting. Question 32. Which of the following cannot legally be sued when determining premium rates for life insurance? A. Gender. B. Age. C. Nationality. D. All the above may not be used. The correct answer is C. Nationality. Question 33. Which of these statements WIH regard to the tax treatment of life insurance is true? A. Death benefits are generally exempt from taxation. B. Individual policy premium are tax deductible. C. Policy premiums that provide benefits to employees are not tax deductible. D. There are all true. The correct answer is A. Death benefits are generally exempt from taxation. Question 34. Survivorship life or second-to-die policies, 1. Are effectively used to cover the costs of estate taxes, 2. Are issued in excess of $1 million in most cases, 3. Reflect substantially lower premiums when compared to buying two separate policies. 
A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. 3 only. D. 1 and 2. The correct answer is D. 1 and 2. Question 35. Generally, it is unfair to discriminate against any one class of individuals in the business of insurance. However, the code does permit the charging of a higher premium if such premiums can be supported by mortality tables segregated by sex, gender A true. B false. The correct answer is A. True. Question 36. Beth wants to purchase more life insurance through her current policy. She calls you, the agent, and asks your opinion. You know Beth has a guaranteed insurability rider on the policy. She can buy more insurance. A. Assuming she is still insurable on her life at specific ages. B. Without the need to prove insurable on her life at specific ages. C. On the life of her dependent children when they reach certain ages. D. Without the need to prove insurability on her life at any time. The correct answer is B. Without the need to prove insurable on her life at specific ages. Question 37. Which of the following is false regrading the taxation of life insurance? A. Annuity death benefits are totally exempt from taxation. B. Businesses that buy group term life insurance for its employees can generally deduct the premiums because they are considered a business expense. C. Individuals making premiums payments on life insurance. Cannot deduct those premiums. D. None of the above are false. The correct answer is A. Annuity death benefits are totally exempt from taxation. Question 38. Select the policy riders frequently found in life insurance polices. A. Accidental death and dismemberment. B. Waiver of premium. C. Cost of living. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 39. Patrick has been diligent in investing money for his retirement. He has managed to put $100,000 of after-tax money into a tax-deferred annuity. Now he is ready to take it out, and the insurance company that issued the annuity says his guaranteed payment is $8,000 a year for the remainder of his life. This means he can expect a total amount of $200,000 back over his life. How much of each year's annuity payment is taxable? A. $8,0. B. $4,000. C. $2,000. D. At zero. The correct answer is B. $4,000. Question 40. Choose the correct statement about a cost of living rider. The policy owner. A. Is only charged a flat fee to have the rider attached. B. Could experience a decrease in amount of the policy if the CPI decreases. C. Pays an additional premium for the extra protection the rider provides and will see the face amount of the contract increase according to the increase of the index. D. All the above. The correct answer is C. Pays an additional premium for the extra protection the rider provides and will see the face amount of the contract increase according to the increase of the index. Question 41. Frequently, juvenile life policies contain a payer rider. This rider states that in the event the payer of premiums is disabled or dies, and the juvenile has yet to reach a specific age. A. This insurance firm will lend, with interest, funds to make. The premium payments. B. The premiums will be paid by the insurer until the child reaches the age of 21 or 25. C. The deceased parent's estate will pay the premiums. D. The insurer will completely waive all future premiums. The correct answer is B. The premiums will be paid by the insurer until the child reaches the age of 21 or 25. Question 42. When applying for insurance, there is usually the owner of the contract, the insured and the applicant. They may be. 1. Three different individuals too. The same person. A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither of the above. The correct answer is C. Both one and two. Question 43. Insurance companies have several departments handling borrow's responsibilities in the issuance of policies. Which department involved with the selection of risks? A. The sales unit. B. The claims unit. C. The underwriting unit. D. The actuarial unit. The correct answer is C. The underwriting unit. Question 44. The owner of a non-par hold a life policy never misses a payment, never borrows from the policy's cash value, and finally reaches the age of 100. What cash value is this person entitled to in comparison to the face amount? A 100% of cash value which is now the same as the face amount. B. None of the cash value. The person has not died. C. About 50% of the cash value as of the date of the birthday. D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. 
100% of cash value which is now the same as the face amount. Question 45. Bill holds two jobs. If Bill were to apply for an insurance policy and the insurer reviews the risk exposure based on his occupation, which of the following would the insurer miss lifely use to classify him? The job. A. Which would constitute the highest premium. B. That Bill has worked at the longest. C. That represents the highest hazard. D. That Bill devotes the most time to every week. The correct answer is C. That represents the highest hazard. Question 46. Which of the following supports the Medical Information Bureau? A. Insurance companies. B. The Department of Insurance. C. Insurance agents. D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. Insurance companies. Question 47. When the insured of a non-participating paid up at age 65 life insurance policy attains the age of 65, the cash value will equal the face amount. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Question 48. Select the incorrect statement form the choices below concerning insurance applications. A. Before the insurer can issue the policy, the beneficiary must acknowledge any changes by providing her slash her original initial. B. Applications become a part for the contract, when attached. C. The statements made on the application are viewed as representations, statements made to the best of the applicant's knowledge. D. The name of the insured must appear somewhere on the application. The correct answer is A. Before the insurer can issue the policy, the beneficiary must acknowledge any changes by providing her slash her original initial. Question 49. From the following, identify that which constitutes the entire contract in a life insurance policy. The policy, A and any oral statements along with the application. B and a copy of application when attached. C and a brochure on the insurer including code approved financial information. D but not the application. The correct answer is B and a copy of application when attached. Question 50. Fran is comparing life insurance available through her employer and an independent life-only agent. Her employer provides automatic coverage and requires medical information than the life-only agent? A. More. B. Less. C. Neither A nor B, the medical information required would. B. The same. The correct answer is B. Less.